Hello, welcome back. In the Gospel according to Luke, Jesus tells the story about a judge and a widow. This judge, we're told, does not fear God nor respect the people because he is a powerful man in his society and does not have to be bothered with the little things. And we have, of course, the widow, the second character of the story. And what we know and what we have been told about widows in this society Jesus lived. Widows were vulnerable, they were often poor, uh, abandoned, they were at the fringe of the society. And this widow comes to the judge and says, you know, uh, grant me justice against my opponent and come, 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 keep coming every day, every day, with the same request, until the judge finally caves in. Said, well, enough about this, I will grant what she wants, and she will stop bothering me. And this story is often presented as a strategy, strategy we can have in a relationship with God. We pray, we ask for something, and if we don't get it, well, we're told to keep praying for it and keep asking for it until God delivers. Which brings some problems with me. First, uh, it kind of makes God as some sort of a cosmic vending machine and if we bang this machine enough the bag of potato chip will fall and we will add it you know it's it's kind of strange and also it's always the same question what happened when our prayers are not answered did we ask wrong or stop too soon and what about God? Once again, does God ask to be convinced of the sincerity of our prayers? Maybe another way to look at the story is to look at it from not necessarily the, our relationship with God, but our relationship toward one another, relationship between human beings. And you know this. I'm sure you're not surprised that we live in a world that is unjust, unfair, unequal. Of course, like in Canada, the laws are the same for everyone. But the fact is, there's a minority that have all these privileges, those means. And at the end of the day, we have the feeling that, and sometimes we can see it from with our own eyes, they can do almost everything, whatever they want. You know, as if there's no consequences or they can always get out of it. And there's the large portion of our population. Well, they cannot hire famous lawyers. They cannot... Uh, you know, overcome gender inequalities, uh, they suffer from racial profiling and discrimination, and even if their, cause, their causes are just, justice most often is just a dream. They cannot reach justice, they cannot attain it. In the United Church of Canada, we have a text called a new creed and in it we can read we are called to seek justice and resist evil and those words are beautiful they sound great they, they are inspiring <coughs> unfortunately it is a very difficult task to do seek justice resist evil especially when we are confronted with uh, 
those who abuse their privileges. And of course, they don't want to give it up. No, they want to keep their position. And so we can see justice. We can resist evil, but they're not necessarily ready to listen to us. But does that mean that we ought to give up? It means that we have to work every day. We have to ask every day. We have to challenge every day. A little like the widow. Ooh, some would say she's very stubborn. Well, yes, sometimes stubbornness is a great gift. Perseverance, dedication. We can turn those traits of character into great assets. That means that we say to all of those who abuse their power or refuse to grant justice, we will not give up. We believe in this and we will continue to work until we see results. It may take time, but we're not going away. That could be a way to look at this story. That yes, we might be sometimes in the position of the judge and we are without even noticing it, sometimes oppressing or being part of a system that is really unjust and, and we don't see it. And someone will come to us, will challenge us. Sometimes we're in the position of the widow, pushing, 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 pushing until something happens. And that's what I hope you will continue to do, do to support. This is our call to create a better world, a world for everyone. Once again, thank you very much for being there. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.